And we started with the Lady Whistle Down. Hello and welcome to my channel, Sarah Love Sparkles. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the Bridgerton Experience Afternoon Tea. So, if you've been around my channel before, you know that I did the Bridgerton Experience, the Queen's Ball. Well, they added a whole new experience called the Bridgerton Experience Afternoon Tea which was basically a Bridgerton themed afternoon tea. So I love doing afternoon teas and knew this was something I must go to so I bought tickets right away. Tickets were on um, the Fever website same way as the Bridgerton experience was. The tickets were, I believe they were um, $89 each which included um, the whole afternoon tea experience. The afternoon tea experience is just down the hallway in the same hotel, the um, Millennium Biltmore in downtown LA. So let's check it out. Bridgerton afternoon tea this way. We got here early so we're just taking a bunch of pictures. And here I thought I'd never get to use this again. So here's where the Bridgerton experience is. And the afternoon tea is this way. Wow, look at this beautiful location. We got the most beautiful table. Look at this, we're right by the fountain. Here's the tea cup. Nice gold plated, like gold rimmed. Yeah, oh I love it. It is a hibiscus and... So here is the menu. Bridgerton afternoon tea. And they have a selection of five teas and they are unique to here. They're not the Republic the Republic of Teas. They're all exclusive to the hotel. And we started with the Lady Whistledown because she recommended we go light to dark and said we can try them all. So we definitely want to try them all. So here is the sliced pineapple. Then we got, uh, looks like salmon and caviar. Um, ham and cheese, ham and cheese, chicken and truffles, wow, egg salad, and then a um, cucumber. Then we got macaroons, pistachio cake, passion fruit, and they're all themed to the characters like Lady Danbury's Lilac Petite Four. Poland's chocolate cake, warm buttermilk scone, and queen's cake. Wow, this should be good. Wow, look at how beautiful. It's been a while since I've seen a three tier like this. Look at that, that's the pineapple, it was amazing. And then this is Miss Kate Sharma's salad, and that's Edwina's ham and cheese. the scone and the queen's cake. So now for the desserts we have the Bridgerton blush macaroon which is rose and raspberry. That looks really good. Yep that one. Then next we have uh, Penelope's pistachio cake right there. Then we have Daphne's passion fruit tart with meringue. Yeah that's that one. That looks good. Lady Danbury's Lilac Petite Four. This one? Yep. And Colin's Chocolate Cake. Which one are you most excited for? Oh, that rose macaroon. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the pistachio cake. They said the pistachio is their signature. Okay, Heather's the dessert verdict. review. <laughs> the verdict. Most pleasantly surprised. Did I say easiest to eat? Yes. Easiest to eat. Personal favorite. That was really good. The classic and the, that, one's good. that one's good. Yeah, that one's good. That one's good. Yeah. No, that's the review. You can also get the tea in iced form. So here is all the teas. They got them all labeled here. show some of this location. This is the staircase that you enter in. Super beautiful. 
And here is the location from the top. I loved it, it was perfect for Bridgerton. So I always love showing um, my outfit of the day, so here it is. For my outfit of the day, I have this cute, um, kind of sparkly, what, what type would you call this? I'm gonna call it the color of a mermaid. That's yeah, that's cute. Straight it's kind up. of like a mermaidy dress. I got it from the fashion district like several years ago. It's cute though. And these are actually my wedding shoes. Look at that sparkle, <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> and Heather's outfit of the day. So I went with a tea length, but guess where I got this? The fashion district. Oh my gosh, you got <laughs> yours in the fashion you know district what? too? It was several years ago. <laughs> several years ago. I never wore it, pulled this thing out of my closet, and I love it. But look at this, look at this. It has a built-in petticoat. Oh so my that's gosh, why Heather. it goes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you have a built-in petticoat? So do I. Do you both Mine just a little bit smaller. Mine is petticoat. like a double layer. This is like the nicest built-in petticoat I have in a dress, but look at that sparkle on my oh, We you got, got sparkle, sparkle and shine. How funny. It's kinda of like a little same thing though different. <laughs> and just they're all boys, you don't look at the shoes. Don't look at the shoes. No, okay. They're just there, they're you know, they're not meant to be noticed. Oh this cute mm -hmm. hairstyle my mom did. It's based after Daphne's um, wedding hair. Oh, cute, I didn't know that. Cute, cute, cute. My mom's very first outfit of the day. Okay, <laughs> what is it? I found this dress, perfect for this occasion. It's, what is that, like a rose color? Kind of yeah, it's kind of like a rose, rose color. Got lace, you got sparkles, yeah. you got it all. That is a perfect dress for the occasion, very I cute. she's wearing the shoes she wore to your wedding day. Oh my gosh, are those the shoes you wore to my wedding? And I forgot to show my bracelet. It's this cute little mama bracelet that um, my baby Hudson got me for Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, he picked it out himself. He picked it out himself, yeah. As we are leaving, people are entering the ball, which you can see my other Bridgerton video here. So I'll just go over the menu a little bit. So first up, they have a regular menu and then they have a vegan gluten-free menu. We all got the regular menu. So it started off with a, a spiced pineapple flummery. I've never heard of flummery and I'm not sure what it is. I actually just ate the pineapples off the top because I'm not into kind of like um, the kind of texture that was at the bottom, but it was really good. The pineapples were super good. And then for the sandwiches, the really cool thing is that it was all kind of themed after each character. Kind of like all the sandwiches were named for a character, or the sandwiches, the treats, kind of everything was named um, for different characters or themed for them. Like they had Kate Sharma salmon, um, Edwina's ham and cheese, stuff like that. So I will just show the menu. Um, up close here so you can check it out. And it's a really nice quality menu that you actually get to keep and take home. So it's just like a little keepsake. For my review of the sandwiches, I'm going to say that the chicken salad sandwich was one of the best tea sandwiches I've ever had. I've been to so many afternoon teas and all the sandwiches are usually kind of the same. You know, the cucumber, salmon, egg, all of that. And this one had little truffle pieces in it and it was so good. The other sandwiches were really good too. A couple of them I'd say were the best afternoon tea sandwiches I've had. And I've had a lot of afternoon tea sandwiches. Which me and my sister love going to afternoon teas. So I'm thinking of making like some more videos of my afternoon teas that we go to. Um, if there's ever a themed one, we, we are there. So maybe um, stick around my channel if you're into that kind of thing. We like doing all kinds of fun things, going fun places and just stuff like that. So um, check out some of my other videos while you're here. Then for the sweets, they had a rose macaroon, which was so good. 
We are kind of spoiled with our macaroons because we get them from Disneyland a lot. So I always feel it's really hard. Anybody that's had Disneyland macaroons knows what I mean. Like, they're very hard to compare to. And um, this one was really good. It was a rose raspberry. I loved it. Then we had um, Penelope's pistachio cake, which that was really good too. And for the tea selections, there were five different teas to choose from. And they were not the, um, the Republic of Tea Bridgerton teas. I thought that might be what they were going to be since they did the whole collaboration. But it was actually their own creations that you can only get there, and they were wonderful. I loved them. We tried all five of them. So all three of us, me, Heather, and my mom, we loved the Lady Whistledown hibiscus. So we ended up getting one of the most beautiful tables of all of them. It was right by the fountain. It was the perfect backdrop for pictures, and kind of off by itself. I would say that was definitely the best table. So my recommendation would be to get there pretty early. We got there a full half hour early and just took pictures around the lobby and stuff. I would recommend you get there pretty early, like go sit down about 15 minutes before the start time because that's what we did and he actually let us pick our table. So one thing to be aware of if you're going is it said gratuity and alcohol not included. So I didn't know, but they added a $45 um, fee on there as, you know, as we were leaving, which was actually the tip. So something to be aware of because I wasn't expecting that. I was assuming you were just going to like leave a tip when you were done. I didn't know they were going to um, charge a certain amount for a tip. If you park at the hotel, they do give validations to make it a flat rate of 25 rather than the hourly rate. So. That is a good tip there. So that is it. Um, I love doing that sort of thing and just all kinds of fun stuff. So check out some of my other videos while you're here because I do a bunch of fun stuff. And um, thank you again. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you around here again.